Hey everybody, I am UMB and this is just a quick news update on some recent events. So yesterday we had the Sony press conference here in Japan and it was pretty amazing. It's not like the audience was clapping or anything because here in Japan people don't really do that. It's not that they find things boring, it's just that they're showing respect towards each other and they really don't want to disturb anyone else in the area. Now they showed some pretty amazing things. So let's first go to the hardware because that's pretty interesting. So first off on the PlayStation Vita side, there's a new limited edition PlayStation Vita and a new limited edition PlayStation Vita TV coming out this month on the 25th. Now I'm not sure if I'm happy about this or not because I thought that I had enough limited editions and I want to have them all, but now that there's this one coming out, I feel like I have to buy it. I'm really not sure if I'm actually going to buy it. I really do want to, but once again, Sony's making it very difficult to get your hands on these items. Why? Because the only place you can purchase it is at the Sony store. This does come out on the 25th and I'm thinking of ordering it, but usually I'd want to be at home to collect it when it arrives, but unfortunately on the 25th, I will also be attending the Tokyo Game Show, so that's something you can be looking forward to as well. Now along with the announcement of a new game, Dragon Quest for the PlayStation 4 being announced, they also announced a limited edition PlayStation 4 for this game. The PlayStation 4 is completely silver and has special icons on it, so it does look pretty awesome. We're not sure when this machine will actually be released, it's still to be announced. Currently I only have one PlayStation 4, but I did pre-order the special limited edition Destiny PlayStation 4 white bundle, which comes with a special limited edition cover, which is only available here in Japan. So there will be a special unboxing of the PlayStation 4 here on this channel on the 11th of September, very, very soon. They also announced a new controller for the PlayStation 4, which looks pretty awesome. And on top of that, they announced some special limited edition models of the PlayStation 4 for Metal Gear Solid. Not just one, but three different types. Pretty awesome. Now the special mod really is the bay cover, so if I can get my hands on just the bay cover, I'll probably try to do that. They also mentioned that at the Tokyo Game Show, they're gonna be showing a new game for Project Morpheus. Now this game is somehow related to Tekken, not actually the game itself, but the creators of Tekken, or one of the people that worked on Tekken, made this game basically. I believe it's called Summer Lesson and basically what happens is you're probably a student and you're with this other girl student and you're basically probably helping her with her homework or something like that. So you walk around the room and I suppose you answer questions by nodding or shaking your head or whatever. But it looks pretty interesting. I know there's a lot of people out there like, I can't believe they make crazy games like this. These games should be banned. You're right. We should just focus on games where there's an innocent person in front of us. We have a shotgun and we blow their brains up. They also announced that the wide PlayStation 4 will be available on October 9th here in Japan. On top of that, there's also a new update coming to the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita where you can have custom themes. Now this is very interesting. Basically you'll be able to purchase, maybe get for free as well, and download custom themes for your PlayStation 4 which will change the entire background. There will most likely be dynamic backgrounds as well and the icons will most likely change according to the style of that game. The PlayStation Vita there will also be different backgrounds, the icons will change for that game and even the background music will change. So this is pretty interesting, this is coming very soon and it seems like with the limited edition PlayStation Vita that's coming out soon, it comes with this special dynamic theme. Be course of this, it looks like the update might come out this month before the 25th. That is pretty soon. I can say for certain, you never know when these updates will come out, but good chance it's going to come out before the 25th. Heard it here first. The highly anticipated game Bloodborne will be available on the 5th of February. The order will be available on the 20th of February. Little Big Planet 3 on the 4th of December. The whole bunch of other titles that they also announced. Everybody's Golf will be coming to the PlayStation 4. It looks pretty awesome. There'll be another Yakuza game. Resident Evil Remastered will be coming to the PlayStation 4. Biohazard Revelations 2 will also be coming. You know, God Eater, Earth Defense Force. There's a whole bunch of games coming, but I'm not going to mention them all. I'm sure you can find information somewhere out there if you really look for it. One of the games that was pretty interesting to me was Tomorrow's Children. That game looks pretty awesome. It actually looks a lot like Minecraft and it looks like you can really build a lot of different stuff. It basically looks like a defense game where you're making a city, you're defending it, but you're also building giant robots and all kinds of things and cars and whatever you want to defend that city. Mine for the materials and then build these items and it does look pretty awesome. Not sure how good it will be. There will be a beta coming out in October and I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on it so I can play it, test it out and share some information with you guys. A big game is also Persona which will be coming to the PlayStation 4 because that's a game that lots of you guys like when it comes to Japanese games. Oh, and there's one more thing. Today is my birthday. So feel free to wish me happy birthday and make my day even better. As always, thanks for supporting this channel and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and thumbs